Sandpoint, Idaho is a town rich with wrestling tradition. This is where Jake Rochold first learned to love his craft at a very young age. They brought around some flyers to my kindergarten class and, and handed them out, like some of the local wrestlers from the club. And I got a flyer and just threw, like took it home. I was like, hey, I want to I want to try wrestling. And that was pretty much the, the beginning of it. It was clear from the beginning he had something special. That first season as a young tyke, he was undefeated, and it laid the groundwork for what was to come. He was a perfect fit to grow up in a youth program filled with passion. It takes a special vision, it takes a special person to not only be motivated themselves, but to motivate other people, because it can't just be the coach. It's got to be everybody else buying into what they, what they believe, and, and people did that. You know, all our parents did that. What you knew out of the Rochelles, the one thing you knew is that they were giving their best. Dan Taylor witnessed Jake's growth in the sport firsthand. He was his coach from his youth days. You know, it's in his mind to where nobody was better. It doesn't matter where I'm ranked, it doesn't matter where I'm at. You take one match at a time and you get through all three periods and it doesn't matter what the score is at this period, it all ends at the end. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Jake used that mentality to put together an outstanding high school career. He was a three-time state champion for the Bulldogs, compiling a 131 and eight record. He helped Sandpoint win two state titles as a team. And the summer after his junior year, he didn't only win the junior national title in Fargo, he claimed the Outstanding Wrestler Award, compiling 11 straight technical falls. After that, I was, I mean, I had everybody in the country sending me letters and wanting to come to my house and the Branzes and John Smith and these people that were coming to Sandpoint to sit in a little house in Sandpoint, you know, to, to try to recruit a kid from Idaho to, to these, these prominent programs is, you know, is, is pretty crazy, you know, it's pretty crazy. In the end, the Oklahoma State program was where Jake's heart was. The aggressive nature the Cowboys employed was exactly what he was looking for. I love John Smith. That's really what it came down to. Oklahoma State was always my favorite, like the style they wrestled. John, I mean, he's the most successful American wrestler ever. Just his style of wrestling and how Oklahoma State wrestled. I was pretty committed to Oklahoma State from probably the start. As a freshman, Roe Schultz medal was put to the test. After a roller coaster season, he found himself at Nationals with a whole new attitude. I mean, I went into the NCAA tournament 16 and nine or something like that, you know, so I had had plenty of losses. But all along, like I was losing some matches I probably shouldn't lose, but I was losing some matches to good guys, like where I was like, I could beat these guys, you know. So when it came to the NCAA tournament time, I was kind of just able to wipe the slate clean and decide I was gonna go out there and give my best effort and do the best that I could and wrestle as hard as I could every minute of every match and that's all you can do, you know? And at the end of the day, I, you know, I came out of there as the best man. And there you have it. A freshman, the second to win a national title. He won the national title that year at 184 pounds. He followed that with two more national championships at 197 pounds. In the end, he was a four-time All-American. A career record of 105 and 20 helped the Cowboys claim four straight national team titles. Today, he marvels at the support he received to get there. My family sacrificed a lot for each and every one of us to, to play sports and go on to, you know, they sacrificed a lot. When I look back at like now with having kids and look back at all the, my, what all my parents did and all they sacrificed, it's hard to imagine, you know, really the time and money and effort they put into to us kids. Rose Schultz makes his home in Oklahoma, running a ranch while working in the oil business. Forever grateful for his roots in Sandpoint, which helped him get to where he is today. It feels nice, you know, to be recognized, um, especially from the area that I was born and raised that really helped shape me as a, as a youth.